Okay, so in our previous video, we built an entire pre-3D production pipeline, which was just one part of the pipeline. So we will be looking at the rest today. Now, before we talk about the free softwares, let's check out how the standard pipeline would look like. Searching for free stuff online these days isn't easy. You get tricked by a lot of sites with the word free, only for you to click and realize there is nothing free on that site. Also, most websites have been paid by certain software houses to publish their software, so they get very biased about their post. It was today I realized Foam Aura is the world's leading compositing software. How would you have to lie to get more downloads? Very deceptive, Foam Aura very deceptive. Anyways, let's check out what we have in the free section. This was one difficult video to make. So if there is any powerful free software hiding anywhere, kindly leave the name with a little tip on what it does in the comment section below. And if it's any good, I'll try it and later on break it down here. One thing to note, there are so many things I couldn't talk about because all the softwares we've spoken on so far can handle any of those steps. So I thought it wasn't worth it wasting time to break those steps down. Besides, they are very minor, not really a big deal if you come across them. Okay, so let's explain them one after the other like we did in the part 1 of this video which was building a free 3D production pipeline. With compositing, I think this was quite easy. Fusion and Natron are the best you would get on the free market. I didn't add Blender because Blender's approach towards compositing is very non-standard. Now. When a software takes a non-standard approach, it makes it difficult for its users to transition to other softwares if the occasion demands. You might end up becoming totally new to Fusion, Natron or Nuke if you are a Blender compositor. But you can jump right into Nuke after using Natron and you can also use After Effects and Nuke after using Fusion. So you see, they are built with a lot of similarities that makes your transitioning in between platforms very easy until you get to blender and you realize you are on a whole new planet not cool and that's why i didn't add blender natron and fusion is enough to get you a high paying job you can check out a video i did on fusion and natron where i explained their strength and weakness yeah link in the description below The best free motion tracking and rotoscoping tool you would find is undoubtedly in Blender and in Fusion. You can just go with any of the two you are comfortable with but since the two features i.e. rotoscoping and motion tracking are located inside the compositor, you would have to deal with a non-standard approach Blender uses which makes it a little bit different from Fusion. Fusion is very easy and is preferred more by big business for rotoscoping and motion tracking. Mocha and Silhouette, I think are the industry standard, yeah, but cost a lot. I've used Mocha once in a company and it's really powerful and easy such that you don't even need a tutorial to start. I miss the software so much. Mocha, oh Mocha. There is also After Effects. Now, After Effects as a whole compositor is really powerful and easy to use. But the problem I have with it is its layer-based system. It makes it difficult when working on complex scenes. 
but if all you want is to track and roto scope then after effect will be a good investment but it still doesn't beat fusion's node based 3d compositor well at the end of the day you make your own choices there are so many free video editing softwares out there i won't lie to you but my pick is davinci resolve free version the free version of Resolve is feature packed with industry level tools you can work with on the long run if you master it. Its user interface is very well thought of and looks very pleasant at first glance. I got a lot of people saying DaVinci is difficult to learn. Well, hmm. okay, so there is an alternative which is very easy and it's part of the Adobe suite so you can opt in for that one if you have the money to throw on Premiere. Pro. I mean, I wouldn't say Premiere Pro is a good investment since a software such as DaVinci is free. Premiere Pro would only be a good investment if no free software could compare to it. But as it stands now, Premiere Pro with no plugin is like an empty barrel to me. Okay, so this part was tough. I had to contact a friend of mine for the audio details because I don't know too much about audio and these are his words i quote audacity is the greatest free recording and editing tool you can find on the market right now there's been recent reports on the software stealing people's data and sending them to russia which i personally don't like but yeah it's happening adobe audition and wavepad are the standard audio tools small and big studios go in for recording and editing the price tag is very cheap and will be a great investment in your free 3D pipeline. There are other top tier level audio tools like Avid Pro Tools, Ableton, Studio One and a lot others which are also good but not for everybody since they all take different learning curves and would need great studies to use them. Okay, so I guess we are done now. Yeah, kindly give me a sub. Peace out.